All right, welcome back everyone. In this video, let us improve the UI of the video detail component. Right now we are displaying the title, URL and description as just plain text. So let's add bootstrap styling. Let's also change all the fields to inputs and add two-way data binding. Again, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and instead of just this interpolation, I'm going to paste the code. Let me explain what each of these lines are. Now we have a div tag and within the div tag, we have a form tag. This form has three elements. The first element is for the title. So a class of form group is from bootstrap. So you can ignore that. Then we have the input element. So the input element type is input class is form control. Again, a bootstrap styling. And then the name is very important. The name is title. We are also making it a mandatory field. We are providing a placeholder. And then we use so ng model for two way data binding. Now video dot title. Now similarly, we have the second element in the form, which is for the URL. It's an input tag, same class. The name is URL. It's also required. We have a placeholder and then we have two way data binding. And similarly, the last element is a text area because this is the description. We're going to limit it to five rows. We are going to give it a name of DESC. And then we use ng model to achieve two way data binding. So now let's build this and check how this check how this appears in the browser. So let me go back to command prompt and then the command ng build. All right, let's go to the browser and test this. Now I'm going to refresh it. And if I click on a title, sorry, a video, then we should have three input fields. So this is the first input field for title, the second one for URL, and the third one for description. And one thing you can observe is because of two-way data binding, if we change the title in the detail view, the list view also gets updated. So watch over here as I change the title. So there you go. I have changed the title in the detail view. Simultaneously, the view in the video list component also gets updated. All right, now a nice trick we can add for the title is to first display it as a heading. And when the user clicks on it, it changes to an input tag and then the value can be edited. So let's see how to achieve that. So let me go back to Visual Studio Code and over here in video detail component to the div tag that displays the input title, I'm going to add the ngif directive. So star ngif and this we are going to say edit title and simultaneously or after this I'm also going to add a header tag so right below the div tag I'm going to add a h3 tag and this we are going to use ngif not of edit title and then we are also going to say if there is a click on this particular heading we are going to fire an on title click method which is going to toggle this edit title value. So let me go back to video detail component TypeScript file. And over here, we're going to first add a new property. So private edit title. This is going to be of type Boolean. And this is going to be initially false. Next, we are going to define the on title click method. So this is just going to set edit title to true. Initially, it is going to be false. And then when we click on it, it is going to become true. Also, once the title has been edited and you navigate away from the current video, the input should turn back into a heading. So we are going to listen to ng on changes lifecycle hook as well. So just below ng on init, we're going to add ng on changes this dot edit title is equal to false. So let's build this again and test it out. All right, let's go back to the browser. I'm going to refresh this. Now, if I click on title one, you see that title one is now a heading and not an input tag. Now let's say if I want to edit this title, I can simply click over here and then it becomes an input box. I can make any change 
then I can navigate to a different video. But this time when I come back to this title, you see that it's, it, it has changed back to the heading. It's not an input tag anymore. So let me just explain the flow of execution once again regarding this. Initially, this edit title is false. So over here, edit title is false. So you cannot edit the title. So the input tag will be hidden and the heading tag will be displayed. And when you click on this heading, we have on title click method that is triggered. And over here, what is on title click? It says edit title is true. That means the input tag is now visible and then the heading is now hidden. So once you make any changes and you click away or when, the navig when you navigate away from the current video, the edit title property gets set to false again and that is how it changes back to this heading. All right, now that we have the layout in place from the next video, let's get started with the Angular services to create, read, update and delete videos using the APIs that we have created earlier in the series. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.